Hi, I'm John Friedman. I'm president of the Washington Conference. And I'm here to talk to you today about the Lord's Prayer. The part that I have today for you is, Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I want to tell you a story about uh, happened about 32 years ago. I was uh, just newly baptized. I'm a convert to Seventh-day Adventism. I didn't grow up in the church. And at the age of 21, I was baptized as a Seventh-day Adventist. I had a wonderful experience that day, but I did not know all the issues about living a Christian life. Uh, I felt that day something very strange and warm and didn't understand it that I understand now, which was the fact that I was anointed with God's Spirit. He had filled me and filled my heart with joy, and there was just a warmth inside. But that very same day, and that afternoon after the baptism, family and friends around, I remember in arrogance, is what I would say now, is that I shook my hand up and said, okay, devil, try to get me now. I didn't realize at that time what I was saying. Very, very much unlike the text that we find here in Matthew, where Jesus instructs us in this model prayer not to, to be led into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Jesus, at this time, has uh, given us a very clear picture of his own temptations. Just two chapters before, in Matthew 4, we find Jesus being tempted uh, by the devil, led by the Spirit into the wilderness, but he spent 40 days and 40 nights fasting and praying and preparing himself for the temptations that were going to come. He allowed himself to draw him into real deep communion uh, in, in prayer and in fasting, just the atmosphere of heaven, his father drew near, the angels were there to minister, the Holy Spirit was there, all of that in preparation. Jesus knew what it was like to be tempted. After that preparation, he was tempted by the devil, and it was very, very hard on him. As he comes out of that, he's totally exhausted, and the angels need to come to minister to him. And so his instructions is, to us is pray that you are not led into temptation. In the Garden of Gethsemane, uh, near the end of his life, again, he tells his disciples, pray that you do not enter into temptation. We need a humble spirit when we think about this. We need, we need uh, to understand that Jesus said he never even brought a railing accusation against Satan. The focus here, I believe, is not on the temptation, but on the deliverance. What I believe here is that what we find is that there is strength to live in this daily life. There's strength to overcome temptation, not as we focus on what we shouldn't be doing, but as we focus on what Christ can do for us and in us. Jesus, when he came to this earth, it says that he was tempted in all ways, just like we are, yet without sin. And in, in um, his life here on this earth, he took that position of the second Adam and he lived a perfect life so that he can then transfer that perfect life unto us. But he also did that so he could impart his perfect life unto us. And that as we come and we live in communion with him and we are filled with his spirit, when we focus on our, our relationship and we fall more deeply in love with him as we come and we... we fill ourselves with this word. We allow the Holy Spirit to, to give us more insight, more knowledge, more understanding of who he is as we fall more in love with him. He sets us free to live uh, a life of abundance. And he fills us with his grace and gives us strength to be able to overcome the temptations that come our way. The focus here is not on the temptations. In fact, he says, pray that you lead, you're led not into those things, but deliver us, Lord. The power and the strength is God's. And as we come into communion with him, as we recognize our weakness, as we're humble about that whole thing, and cry out to him in dependence for what he can do for us, then he fills us with his spirit and gives us the power and the strength that we need. Every day he tells us that we can come to him. Uh, in Hebrews chapter 4 he says that he was... Uh, tempted as our high priest, that we can come to him whenever we need help, and we need that type of help when we are going through temptation. How very different I understand these things now than when I first did. Right now, I don't, uh, I don't pray and shake my hands and say, okay, devil, try to get me now. 
because I know that he's a much stronger than I am. And now my humble dependence is on Jesus. Now I raise my hands and I thank the Lord for his strength and his power and his victory. And I ask for more and more of his power in my life to deal with the things of everyday life. Focus is on Jesus because it truly is all about Jesus.